politician? I'm not. I'm a political journalist. Okay. Okay. So let's begin by asking you, mm. are you running for president? <laughs> That's a, a million dollar question. Are you running for president? Yes. What do you want to answer you now? Whether or not you are not, yes or no. But if you are contemporaneous, like you said, uh, as a political journalist, you will have read where I, I told my constituents that we are urging me on uh, last uh, December 31 or so, that I, I will do some consultation and that I will speak to them in April during Easter. So I'm doing my consultation. But make no mistake about that. Am I not qualified to run for president of Nigeria? That's a big question you need to answer tonight. No, no, no. I'm asking you. No, no I can't answer questions. I'm not obliged as a journalist to answer questions. I'm, I'm asked to ask questions. So, uh, so I'm constitutionally asked allowed. to ask questions. Yes, you're so right. So the question is, are you... Are you... I'm still consulting. Okay. That's what I told you. Mm -hmm. And uh, that consultation is still on. But I know I'm qualified to run for president of Have Nigeria. you spoken to your principal about it? No, I have not. Because I, I've not gotten to that stage. Do you want to be president? I can manage Nigeria. But do you want to... That's part of the consultation. Whether or not you can, I can be a president of Nigeria mm -hmm. because I have constitutionally, I have all it takes to be a president of Nigeria. Mm -hmm. There's a different thing is whether I want, I, I, I want to As be. As I speak to so the questions, yes, before I left my office, yes. I had two gentlemen who came to my office. One was a former inspector general of police and he came with some people that they are urging me to come and run for president of Nigeria. Will Chris Ngigi run? It's part of the consultation. Will you run? Wait till April. Do you want to? It's an opportunity for you to free advert for you right now. What I mean, which you, what, what you, you, do you don't you don't need to pay for What do you mean by that? Free advert. If you if you just tell Nigerians whether or not you want to be, I, I will not say anything like that. <laughs> till April, I'll okay. go back to my constituents. Okay. And after I finish with my constituents, I'll go to my principal. I mean, a, a job. I mean, I have a boss. Yeah. I will discuss with him. But make no mistake about it. I'm very qualified. Mm. Going through section one three one of the constitution, the, quali the qualifications there. Yeah. I hope you know yeah. the qualifications. Mm -hmm. Nigerian by birth, mm -hmm. I am. 35 years. Mm -hmm. I'm over 35 years. Up, up. Belong to a political party. I am. Foundation member of APC. No criminal records. No criminal records. Educated up to school certificate level. I did school certificate. You have that. 72. And not, not contestable. Division 1. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, MBBS degree minister. in medicine. So, I mean, uh, so, but I have more than that. Do you, do you, so the weight of experience I have. Yeah. I'm consulting. I'm, I'm consulting seriously. You can imagine simple question he could not even answer. I'm consulting. I'm qualified. What, what has that got to do? No, we can see that you are really qualified. All of you can see the truth. You cannot say the truth because say, you are aspiring to just get that power because that power, that position is so powerful. They just want to go there and just have that name written on them. I was the president. I was this. That is just all. They have nothing to offer. They are so selfish and so wicked set of people. We can see. You, you have what it takes. You are still consulting. Consultation injure all of you for there. I'm still consulting. That is the language you are speaking. What are you consulting for? If you want to run, you say you want to run. If you say until that uh, April, which one are you consulting? Uh, not today. All of you, you have fed Nigeria and Nigerians. Hmm. Can you imagine? Well, this is how your detractors would be urging you one after the other, everybody say yes. I'm, I'm being urged to do this. Eh? They will urge you to come out and contest in order to make caricatures of your people. That's all of you, all of them. That is what all of them want to be president. Or that all of them want to be president. You can't even see the need for doctors to get paid. He wants to run a, a nation so that it will be, not be bad mouthing everybody. Hey, go to farm. Yeah, hey, doctor, we have a lot of, a lot of doctors. Enough doctors. If you want to leave the country, you can leave the country. That is the kind of thing we are going to be hearing. You can imagine. You can't even see the need to pay the doctors. Insanity number two. Someone saying that, let us assume he becomes the president. Are you saying he will not deny that he doesn't even know what the country, that the country is not at peace? I don't even know this is one, this one not danger to this country already don't even get close at all this man has ruined his political career as a minister of labor and employment he deserves not to even and uh, uh, even the least political to, to deserve the least political appointment in his entire life we are finished in this country how come people aspire for the next class when they have failed in the present class they are is there something wrong with us as a society imagine this a uh, a Goomba as a president. Obviously, this is a display of failure in its 
true color from the honorable minister in last confidence the aura display as elements of deceit in it he lacks the truth of such a calling for throwing such a question to the presenter tells more about his uh, blurry dreams Ngige, you too Ngige, okay nigeria political sector has become a sector of shameless people ordinary minister for labor and employment could not even put things in order nigeria labor sector is in a state of decay and is coming out to tell us am i not qualified <laughs> am i not qualified they are asking you whether you want to contest you are asking somebody he didn't even tell you he didn't say whether you are qualified or not do you want to contest lisa and us will soon declare for running for of president in this country in 2023 the poor masses are seriously watching can you just imagine this clown that couldn't even handle ordinary ministerial job want to contest for presidency <laughs> See this man, you can you can sort out the issues uh, of your ministry, but trying to say you are you deserve to be a president. Wow, I see you no know, presidency in honorable minister. Of course, if Buhari can be president, anybody can be president. Huh? So that is what they are always talking about. Am I not qualified? You can see now Buhari, Buhari, where he get? Where he be? Who he be? He be president. So why would this one not boast of uh, them? being the president he's not fit to hold any government office talks badly as a minister yes he doesn't talk he get bad mouth well, well you are qualified because buhari is your yardstick to measure having realized that ruling this country does not even need the certificate or know how you can as well present medical certificates and a failed ministerial position as your reason to lead never again should we allow clowns and block us to rule us say no to this uh, set of persons anybody can become president after all Buhari has trained us how to endure our ship my beloved nigerians please can we take our country back from these criminal elements who have hijacked the system in the name of democracy enough is enough we cannot continue to allow these relics take us back to the stone age we must become committed to nation building and it starts with getting your PVC and aligning with a political party that represents the interests of a new Nigeria. Unfortunately, Nigerians are going to be aligning themselves. Majority of Nigeria, majority. We have a, we still have some people who are going to be supporting some, you know, fewer or smaller parties like that. But majority of Nigerians are going to be sticked with APC and PDP. And who are the people in APC and PDP? You think they are going to present a good candidate for you to choose from? Mm -mm, but no. He's going to be worse because they are not going to select. You see what is happening in APC now? The crisis there now. Somebody just am picking somebody like this. So the two major parties, Nigerians are so attached. They were so attached themselves to that for to those uh, two parties, and those ones are going to present rubbish candidates, and you don't have choice. You don't have choice. You don't have choice. But this issue of a uh, part of the electoral bill that was signed, talking about independent uh, candidates, because people have been complaining about uh, independent candidates. I think we have independent candidates. This would have been a, a good one. So that nobody needs to go through all this uh, political party. But now, I don't think that is really effective because nobody is even saying anything about it. Oh, independent and independent candidates. Nobody is saying anything. Nobody is saying anything. So, if you think uh, you want to get your PVC, it's a good thing. Nobody is going to discourage you, but it's good you have it. So that by the time the election time comes, you'll be able to know what to do. Because if you don't even have a PVC in the first place, definitely you'll, not even, you'll be limited. But at least to a very large extent, you now know who you are going to cast your votes for. Because as far as I'm concerned, as far as you also know, these people are going to present unpleasant, unpleasant people. And you begin to choose between the too too evil that is it so the pcv or whatever is called bare pvc that they call it it's not a total liberation so guys leave your comment down there below and let's have your take